Now, listen, you guys, <laughs> just when you think you have seen it all, here comes Bongo 2, a.k.a. the host, crying, you guys, on stage, crying to her song, My P is Depressed. Yeah, the song literally says a hoo-ha is depressed. <laughs> and she's crying there on stage over that. So we're going to be talking about a little PR stance that she pulled yesterday. And uh, we're also going to be talking about Jetavia and the entire Sukehana situation and Sukehana finally getting clogged for being a messy person and for trying to use Jetavia for clout. Now, Nicki Minaj and Chucky, I don't know why they were beefing on Twitter. I was like, oh my God, Nikki, give um, you know the door a break. <laughs> now, hello, tea lovers. Welcome to the tea plug. I trust you guys are doing well and I trust you are doing great. Personally, I am doing great, you guys. I am doing extremely amazing. And uh, without further ado, let us dive straight into today's team. Now, you guys, it seems like Bongo 2 was out there crying <laughs> on stage after the happenings of yesterday's PR stance, okay? Now, let me explain to you exactly what happened for those of you who might not catch up with where the tears are all of a sudden coming from and why exactly she's crying, okay? Because I'll tell you that she really is not crying over that fake AI video that was put out there, okay? There are more, <laughs> there are more reasons, okay, to cry for, okay? So basically what happened is that, um, you know, a couple of days ago, I think two days ago, um, there is a video that started making its rounds and it was basically of a fan who attended uh, Bongo 2's show and uh, so they were kind of taking like a video and their background was a you know a background of empty seats you know like the show you could tell that well the seats were not exactly full and you could hear Bongo 2 screaming oh stop recording and things like that and so obviously that sparked um, you know conversation surrounding Bongo 2's tour like the seat filler allegations as well as uh, you know why the lights are always off in you know all of her shows so people started saying that oh well it seems like the reason why she's always um you know performing in a venue and the lights are off is because they don't want people to see uh, that the seats are empty like it, it was just a lot of conversation that was sparked around that entire situation and i did see the major blogs uh you know even posting about that so fast forward to yesterday uh we just woke up to a video of bongo 2 circulating on twitter i don't know if that was her or if that was ai in my own opinion i did think that it was ai because that's the reason why i didn't even talk about it um you know even when i saw it circulating on twitter and a part of me also really did feel like you know this could have been an intentional thing for her to finally you know get a little bit of sympathy and so really a lot of people majority of the people paid it dust okay now the two people that i saw sort of you know talking about it but not even directly talking about it not even mentioning the actual video not even mentioning uh bongo 2's name i saw milagro hinting to that video and i also did see god the scoop um you know hinting to commenting on that video but these people did not even mention bongo 2 and if anything they were actually out there saying you know what this is sick what people are doing like that's the lowest of laws why would you do that and things like that and they even say it subliminally but it's not like they were even celebrating or they were out there hyping it up okay so i'm just going to quickly read uh, what milagro said about the situation because it seems like yesterday it was an eventful day for her um you know on one hand there is bongo 2 and then on the other hand bongo 2 aka the transformer and a friend and her sister they're out there they all want mili okay and i think i've mentioned it on this channel that mili mili is one of the few bloggers who are out there still even talking about the transformer who can be out there posting about you know bongo 2's tour without even throwing shade do you understand what she she really does that okay regardless of the Tory lane situation and stuff like that when you know bongo 2 drops music mili is out there even posting it and things like that so i was really shocked when people started saying that oh well mili you're getting sued <laughs> so mili said with the way deepfake and ai be going these days if it's not her she should sue whoever made it that is dry af to do to people that was what mili said and then she went ahead and said i think there are some people that wanted to be here anyway and then she said don't take the bait and repost that ish this is what um you know mili basically said about this entire situation but uh all of a sudden people started saying oh my god you're getting sued it seems like the two of them really have been itching you know to get into some kind of thing situation with milagro because I, I don't understand okay but anyway um 
so shortly after that you guys um that's when the trans uh, that's when bongo 2 decided to come out here and address the situation and i was like oh my goodness okay no one was really talking about this like this no major blog had even posted about it no major you know youtube has even made videos about it so it was actually too quick <laughs> you know um you know the way she quickly jumped into there and you know to address this entire situation i looked at her and i like oh and i was like listen like a lot of people like if you just scroll through twitter you could you wouldn't just you know jump into this entire thing you you wouldn't bump into it do you understand what i'm saying so like for me it's her comment that actually amplified um you know the existence of you know that tape okay and she said it's really sick how y'all go out of the way to hurt me when you see me winning you're going too far fake behind ish just know today was your last day playing with me and i mean it and i'm just looking at her like oh like <laughs> and people started accusing her like it seems like after she tweeted this now the major blogs then posted about it and people were like okay what what is she talking about and that's when people were like listen now we're getting tired of the sympathy thing um you know we're, we're over it it seems like people finally started cloaking this pattern and this behavior and then soon after that's when she went out and said my new album you know megan drops 628 pre-save now and stay tuned in if you're a real hottie and then she posted a different album cover and it seems like people are finally waking up um you know to this person's antics antics you do you understand what i'm saying the day that Nicki minaj got arrested this girl was out there you know posting her selfies making it seem like she's all innocent but making those faces you know and people started laughing and saying oh my god this is hilarious oh she's winning oh this and that and now she is out there crying over a fake ai video and she's not the first celebrity whose face has been edited into like a fake video like that she's not the first one so yeah for me i i smell sympathy i i smell a PR stunt and honestly if it's a team that's making her do these things it's insane to me and the audacity of her and her people trying to come out here and say that oh my goodness it's Nicki Minaj fans I'm like ah if anything the bubs have been out there trying to be on blackout like the ability of these girls to turn anything into a Nicki Minaj thing is insane to me because if anything allegedly the person who first the account that first actually posted that video had the body gang handle. So how on earth do the bubs get in there? And for those of you who do not know, those two fan bases have been going at each other for like two days now. They've been dragging each other left, right, and center. The body gang versus um, you know, the non-existent hotties. The body gang versus the body gang, <laughs> the bodies. <laughs> It's the battle of the boss. They've been going at it like for like two more than two days now. Okay. And so I wonder where the bubs fit into this entire situation. And at this point, I do feel like she's trying to poke the bubs. She's trying to poke Nicki Minaj because they've been going on their black house and minding their business. So I feel like this is an attempt. This was an attempt to make it seem like it's Nicki Minaj fans that did this. But what she didn't um, you know, see coming is the fact that the bubs were just going to ignore that stuff. She hoped that a lot of uh, you know bubs would come out there retweet that and things like that and none of the bubs that i actually do follow were out there doing that so yeah let me know in the comment section what you think about that now it gets worse you guys today when she was performing <laughs> her song you know a song that says who is depressed <laughs> that song in itself for me <laughs> for me is hilarious you guys like that song for me is hilarious because what the f what the f why would you play with depression like that why would you say that your hoo-ha is depressed like what hoo-ha gets depressed can't you just be normal for once we know you're 30 and things like that but not everything needs to be 30 -ish. okay you can just talk about depression in a normal way you don't need to link it to your hoo-ha and this is exactly why people say these girls don't have anything else to rap about. If it's not, if they're not talking about their who, what they're talking about, their non-existent, um, you know, beef with Nicki Minaj. Okay, so honestly, uh, that song in itself to me, it's very, um, it, it's an, it's. <sighs> It does not make any sense, okay? Singing about your hoo-ha getting depressed. Like, how does it get depressed when uh, clearly you've got multiple industry people, uh, you know, including, um, you know, the, do, Juju the Hanja on the roster? Like, what time does your hoo-ha get to breathe and de get depressed? Because it's always an action, allegedly. <laughs>
<laughs> so how can a, an action pegged who I get depressed? Like it's always active. How does it, is it tired? Or maybe by depressed, she means it, it gets tired. Of course it will get tired. Um, you know, if it's always on rotation. <laughs> Are you guys? But anyway, on a serious note, okay? It seems like she decided to take to um, you know, her show and her stage to cry. She cried and twigged. I've never seen anything like that in my entire situation. Who cries and shakes be there behind at the same time? Who does that? And you guys want to what you want us to take this seriously? Like, who have you ever seen in the history of you know behind shakers? Okay? There's been a lot of behind shakers before her. Huh? So who have you ever seen twerking while crying? Who, you guys, honestly? Who have you seen shaking their behind and crying at the same time? This is what this girl was doing on stage. And I was just looking at that. I was like, you know what? We understand that you need the sympathy. Is the wig not enough? You also need all these antics. Like, who? <laughs> Imagine shaking your behind and crying and singing my who are depressed. <laughs> Yo, let me know you guys in the comment section what you think about that this go this these people like a team are out there making a look like an insane person and it seems like people are finally clocking the antics and tactics because a lot of things about this girl her career and her personality do not add up okay one moment she's bragging and she's calling herself the regina george the black regina george and then she wakes up the next morning, she's the victim. Oh my God, how dare you? The next moment, she's throwing shots at somebody else's family. And when somebody else responds uh, to her about her family, she becomes the victim. Like if you are bold enough to throw a district or these lines, and if people are celebrating you and you're bragging and you're saying, I'm the black Regina George and you're loving it, it should be the same tone when people respond to you. Do you understand? You can't expect to be throwing shots at other girls and then when they throw them back, you, you all of a sudden you are the most disrespected woman in this entire world. Anyway, you guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about Bongo Two Piara stands. At this point, I'm like, what next are you going to do? Okay, and how I also clock that there's some so, sort of sympathy that is going on. They have created a new record for her. This is what one blog said. They said uh, Bongo 2 breaks the record for the highest single night attendance of any show by a female rapper in Madison Square Garden history. 14.1K. <laughs> and this happened when all this, um, you know, noise was happening. And I looked at that and I'm like, oh, my God. Are you guys insane? Are you guys, are you guys being serious? Because like everything about this PR stand in this rollout, everything is very predictable. Everything is like, oh, they should come up with new tactics or at least just, you know, accept the fact that, well, it's not it. Okay. But anyway, you guys moving on to the next thing that we're going to be talking about, talking about cloud chasing and things like that. It does seem like Sukihana sat down in an interview and was out there talking about the Jetavia situation and uh, basically contradicting herself saying that, well, she doesn't have any issues with Jetavia. She didn't have issues with uh, JT before. And I'm just like, girl, you thought you were going to get massive cloud from Jetavia. You didn't get it. And now you're sitting on a podcast saying things that don't don't even make sense and i did look at the comments in the comment section it does seem like a lot of people really are now clocking that the girl was just looking for a moment because she came on live you guys oh jetavia clear my name and on that live she was like i don't even think she's talking about me okay less than an hour later she came back on the internet started calling uzi all sorts of names and things like that and then still demanded that jetavia clears her name and this is where it gets twisted for me okay if she wanted the name cleared she could have done it respectfully as she had done in the first video but the fact that even before an hour lapsed she came back and started throwing shots at leslie who's out there minding his back and business okay leslie does not bother anyone okay Lil uzi does not bother anyone okay he minds his business minds his purses and that's all he cares about and so she started throwing in uzi in that entire mix because i guess you know she knows that jt loves you know little uzi like that and does not play when it comes to him so she started poking do you understand what i'm saying an hour you give somebody less than an hour to respond to you somebody who's out there on tour doing her thing 
And then the next thing you're coming shading, shading her and you still want her to, res to, to respond to you and clear your name even after you have been disrespectful. It does not make any sense to me. And this is the part that people don't want to talk about. This is the part that people don't want to address that this girl moved messy. To me, it seems like she came out here genuinely wanting um you know jetavia to clear the name but at the same time telling the people that there is no issue between her and jetavia she went back there and ray j told her in my own opinion okay that go back there this is your opportunity to get some clout this is what it's um you know giving and to make sure that you know there was drama involved that's when she decided to do a two for one uh kind of situation where she was like is it me is it the transformer is it me and she knew how jt and the transformer don't see eye to eye so she knew that the moment that she would bring the transformer into this entire clearing the name clearing ritual jt wouldn't you know address that entire situation of course jt didn't as expected and that's when this girl decided to go off and now yeah she's out there trying to big trick trying to say oh i love her song okay suki hana goodbye go back to only fans okay and to to show you that this girl is a cloud chaser right before she posted a video of leslie dancing on stage um you know and there was a purse at the end okay that was her being shady okay we can be shady but you suki hana you can't be shady <laughs> If you want to be taken as a say as female rapper, you can't be shading Jetavia using a man. The difference is we can do it <laughs> because we are regular people. You cannot do the same thing, okay? We are the only people allowed to talk about Leslie and his handbags. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> you guys i'm just messing with you anyway the next thing that we are going to talk about you guys um we are going to talk about um you know Nicki minaj and chucky i do not know why Nicki minaj was out there basically beefing with chucky i'm just like what has the door done to you or Nicki tanya mirage okay <laughs> now you know that one of Nicki minaj's um uh, favorite memes is that one of uh you know chucky and the pen and the book um and so Nicki minaj uh posted that and chucky said took uh, k the dj literally okay and then Nicki minaj posted another um you know picture of chucky and said me patiently waiting to cut somebody out as soon as they answer their down behind phone okay okay and then chucky said just say you're obsessed with me already okay <laughs> Nicki minaj responded and said the f happened to your head i need the thinning red bulb black big babe okay and then chucky also responded to that and said I was part of an exorcism. Keep the F up, all right? <laughs> and honestly speaking, the ability of Nicki Minaj to be play playful about anything and with anything to me, to be able to joke with people like this. And for me, it's just very hilarious. It's part of a personality that really just uh, draws people to her. So yeah, I found that really hilarious. And so these are some of the things that I've wanted to talk about. But you guys, you know that it has been hectic also. And uh, moving on to the next thing that we're going to be talking about, Beyonce and Jay. Now, articles are being put out there with people trying to say that, well, Beyonce is in hiding because of the exposés that are happening, um, you know, in the industry and things like that. Page six actually, um, you know, spoke about that as well, talking about how um, he, the, the men and the wife have not been seen in public since the exposés and things like that. And so, yeah, let me know in the comment section, you guys, do you think that these guys are in hiding or do you think that they probably do not know how to navigate? gate at this space because for one they did attend you know some of those diddy parties and things like that some of the parties that would be thrown by him so i feel like maybe they feel like if they were to come out here um like how do you navigate that space okay how do you navigate the space of knowing what people want you and expect you to sell to say and at the same time not also actively involving yourself uh where you don't have the facts about the situation do you understand what I'm saying? So that being said, you guys, it seems like shortly after that is when an article was basically pub published about uh, ph philanthropy. Okay. XXL magazine was like, Jesus Rock Nation will spearhead an educational campaign in Philly that helps students uh, from low income households to secure about 300 million in scholarships to attend the city's private schools. Events will be held by Rock Nation to bring awareness to blah, 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 blah. And I'm just looking at that and I'm like, oh my goodness. This 
this does look like a PR article, but it is what it is, you guys. Um, let me know what you think about this entire situation. Do you think the cutters are in hiding or do you think they are not? Now, the next thing that we are going to talk about, you guys, it does seem like Jatavia was out there showing Nicki Minaj, Beyonce and Rihanna some love. She took to her Instagram and said, hey, Nicki Minaj, read the three I love, okay? And so, obviously, people are like, oh, it does seem like, you know what, Jatavia and Onika are still in good books and things like that. And I did I did say that uh, previously, she also joined a Nicki Minaj space, um, not space, on, on StationNet, I'm sorry. So, um, it does seem like everything is, is probably okay in their camp. Maybe they spoke behind closed doors or there was never an issue to begin with, okay? So, yeah, let me know in the comment section, obviously, you guys, what you think about that. That being said, you guys, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for making it this far. Now, I decided to talk about this at the end because, listen, this channel, I talk about everything that happens in the celebrity world. And, I mean, I it's even there in my description, okay? I talk about everything that happens in the celebrity world. However, my interest is more around the female rappers because I love female rap like that. So if you thought this was something else, it is not. This is a channel where I comment about any and everything that happens in female rap from Bongo 2 to The Transformer to Nicki Minaj to Jetavia to Soweti to Bia. So you don't come in my comment section telling me not to talk about this person or don't talk about that person or don't. If that's not your cup of tea, move right along. You find something for yourself, you know, something that you like, <laughs> you know, somewhere there in one of those videos. If you don't like anything on this channel, that's still fine. You find somewhere else where it's strictly about Nicki Minaj and no one else is being mentioned mentioned you will find a platform like that but this is just not it so maybe i don't blame you guys maybe you caught on a little later you you know you bumped into the channel a little later maybe you did and you genuinely did think that there would ever be a time where i would solely talk about Nicki Minaj it's not practical for me it's not happening it defeats the purpose why I made this channel because one of the reasons why I made this channel is because back when the Asian was happening I didn't know it's this easy to just start a YouTube channel and start giving your own opinion I didn't know that okay so I looked at some of my favorite YouTubers literally flipping on Nicki Minaj like that and I was like oh I'm gonna make a channel and I'm gonna give my opinion also because what made the H train successful back in 2018, 2019 is because there was no one who was speaking, uh, you know, any form of objectivity and there was no one who was debunking any lies that were being, you know, told about Nicki Minaj. There was no one who was calling out the transformer for everything that she does and still doing. She did, you know, back in the day, no one was out there calling her out on anything. No one was out there giving like an actual opinion about her and the shenanigans so that's what i wanted to do so now if you forbid me from <laughs> debunking the transformers antics and what she's doing and everything that's happening then i'm defeating the reason why i started this channel because one thing about media is just because you don't address something doesn't mean that you know it goes away you may want me to not talk about something, but that does not mean that, you know, all these powerful big blogs that are out there will stop painting the Transformer as a saint. They will continue doing that. Meanwhile, we're just quiet. Do you understand what I'm saying? So being quiet and thinking that by being quiet as media, you're supporting somebody. It really does not make any sense, you guys. Okay. Personally, I'm going to debunk about, you know, everything that the Transformer does that I feel like is not fair and the world needs to see. Um, I will talk about it. I'm 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 just going to give my opinion on everything and if this is not your cup of tea I understand okay instead of jumping into the comment section and trying to shame me for giving my opinion on things you might as well just start your own channel or you might as well just go to those channels that serve your purpose okay yeah thank you very much you guys and um until my next one see you